Did you know that every year, over 2.3 million people die due to work-related accidents and diseases, costing the global economy a staggering $3 trillion, which is around 4% of global GDP? This figure far exceeds the annual fatalities of road accidents, war, violence, and HIV-AIDS. Although significant improvements have been made in workplace conditions, the ongoing workplace fatalities remain undesirable. The ILO estimates that whilst mining employs 1% of the global labor force, it accounts for 8% of the work-related fatalities. Moreover, most of these deaths are not only tragic and avoidable, but also repeat events. The continual prevalence of high workplace repeat events suggests that the industry is failing to learn from its past events, and an obvious question persists. Why do we continue to have repeat events and worker fatalities even when these events are investigated to learn and prevent future recurrences? This is where my PhD comes in. Although many scholarly work exists which discusses why failure to learn from accidents occurs even when investigations are conducted, most of the research remains conceptual or theoretical in nature, with only a few empirical studies. Evaluating current incident investigation practices and capturing the perspective of practitioner investigators is necessary to improve learning from incident opportunities. My PhD addresses this gap by evaluating how investigations are conducted in the Ghanaian mining industry. Over a six-month period, I personally visited five mines, interacted with incident victims and investigators to gather data. In the course of the fieldwork, some of the sites were investigating real incidents. Therefore, I participated in the whole process, observing how they actually do it. Results so far indicate that 50% of the investigators I interviewed are untrained, although they continue to investigate incidents. In addition, there is more focus on the identification of causes and less focus on the phase of improvements that follows the identification of causes. These results suggest that certain aspects of current investigation practices require redesign initiatives in order to improve organizational safety. My hope is therefore to propose some of these redesign initiatives to avoid repeat events and ultimately prevent avoidable deaths across the industry.